What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today we're going to be taking a look at some very interesting new arrivals at Blade HQ. I like to do this periodically. I know a lot of you guys do this anyway, but I do it all the time and when there's a whole bunch of really cool new stuff coming out, I like to let everybody else who doesn't normally do this uh, kind of go along with me. I'm just going to comment on a few things, point out a few things that I think you guys might find interesting. As per usual, if you're thinking, Metal Complex, why would I watch a whole video of this when I can just go do it myself? You can. In fact, I'll make it super easy on you. Right down at the top of the description, I will link the new arrivals page on Blade HQ, and you can go look through this stuff for yourself if you want to. If you'd like to hear my commentary on a few things, then stick around, because I'm going to point out some stuff that I think is really cool. As per usual, thanks so, uh, so much to my generous patrons who are supporting me right now. You can find a link for Patreon down in the description as well. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at Metal underscore Complex. Okay, first off, right off the bat... These have finally populated as coming soon, and I know that I'm talking about new arrivals, but I have to point this out. The Demco AD 20.5 in both Sheep's Foot or Shark's Foot, uh, and the, um, they call it the Shark Point, or no, they call it the Clip Point. <laughs> shark Point. Clip Point, right? These are coming. These are the less expensive uh, versions of the uh, the Demco 8020, the super popular variant that's made in the United States. These guys, it seems like, are going to come in between 140 and 150 bucks. OS 10A, and you're looking at Grivery with the Shark Lock, which is the biggest thing with this knife, right? Everybody's been talking about it. I've done multiple videos on it. Just want to make you guys aware. So I am going to link this coming soon page um, so you guys can sign up for email notifications or whatever. I mean, that's the best that I can do for you guys. Um, they're awesome. I love them. I know that a lot of people are going to try and grab them. Um, so I just wanted to make everybody aware. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click on the new arrivals page so that we can go through all the new stuff that's interesting. Oh, look at that. Skinny Harpoon Spantos dropped and they're already sold out. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's going on right now with Hinder Knives, guys. They pop up at retailers and they're there for about two and a half minutes and then they're gone. There's no... <laughs> There's no way to tell where they're going to land. I'm actually trying to buy another hinder right now. And I have missed the last six drops. I don't get any special treatment from Rick Hinder or through these retailers, even the ones that I work with. And that's fair. Um, so I'm still trying to get one. But Skinny's dropped. I would imagine more will continue to drop more and more and more and more as Hinderer catches up from what, you know, set everybody back in 2020. I'm hoping that we'll start to see these things stick around a little bit longer, but they are periodically dropping at Blade HQ, so there you go. Steel Wheel Cut Jack Flipper in uh, gray F FRN and black. Uh, that's kind of neat. Those are good. They used to be like really like, everybody was like, wow, amazing, right? Um, and they're all right. Uh, I, still, I still think they're decent knives for the price. There's just a lot of competition at that price point. Um, this definitely looks, uh, interesting. This is the mini beglitter in a, um, I, should we call it a reverse tanto? Should we call it a Warren cliff? What do they call it? They call it a Warren cliff N690 it says coming soon. So it's not a new arrival. I guess we're combining coming soon with new arrival today. Blade HQ recently, I don't know if they've always done this, but they have mixed in coming soon with new arrivals. So that's coming. The beglitter has always been a great knife. Uh, I think a Warncliffe version in N690 will be well accepted. And considering what the um, standard one is, this is 60, I think the mini is a little bit less. It's probably going to be right around that, that price point. Um, Ace, Giant Mouse, Vox, Anzo, Biblio, Flipper, Dark Bronze with Micarta. Eh, if you like brown and slightly lighter brown, then yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, it's titanium and Micarta. That's a great knife color combination that's going to be for some and not for others. That's a really good version of the mini bag litter right there. Uh, the black with the black micarta. That looks good. Um, some left-handed small Sabenza 31s. few people are definitely going to be after those. And I think those are in Damascus. The nice little gentleman's carry. Uh, the new Chavez Ultramar TAC. I have no idea what TAC stands for, but this is a super short version of the Ultramar in titanium. And I'm guessing M390. If you like smaller knives or especially... If you are into, into the look of Chavez knives, but you live in an area with a three inch or less blade law, um, this is definitely going to be up your alley. M390 and titanium and not a bad price considering my uh, Ultramar was like 350 bucks, the larger one. So yeah, you're getting a pretty hefty discount here. I think that's pretty fair. I'm going to assume that those are also made by Riot, in which case the quality will be excellent. If you don't like titanium, you can also get Micarta. Um... I want to take a look at these and see what we've got 
for the inside. I'm gonna guess that they have titanium. It looks like it. That's a titanium liner lock is what it looks like. So titanium liner lock with um, the micarta. I'd actually like to look at one of these. If somebody picks one of these up and you wouldn't mind sending it in for review, I'd really like to take a look. I won't keep it. I'll send it back, which is what I do with all the knives that are sent by viewers on this channel. I'm just not 100% sure I wanna buy one. <laughs> <laughs> it's cheaper for me to just take a look at it. So if somebody's willing, then that'd be great. Um, Delica with Flytanium, that's kind of neat. It'll sure make the Delica heavy with the brass scales. The new Spyderco Para 3 Lightweight in Teal. I don't know what it is. There are certain colors that I'm really attracted to here lately, and Teal is one of them. 140 bucks for one of the greatest EDC folding knives of all time um, in S90V. I think that's pretty cool. I think I tried to make people aware of that on my community tab. And just to mention it again, I think a lot of people would really enjoy that, especially if you're into teal. They've got some more, they've got some rats with uh, pre-installed copper and brass. If you don't mind the weight, it's definitely going to add to the weight. But if you don't mind that, those are the model one, uh, well, model one and model two. So if you like the larger or smaller, it's going to be heavy, right? Boker Kalashnikov automatic dagger in D2. Ooh, that's good because the original was in OS 8. <laughs> uh, the D2 variants, yeah, I think uh, for $54, I mean, this if you don't know, the Boker Kalashnikov is absolutely one of the best sight opening automatic knives that you can get in the budget territory. So it was a smart move to move to D2. I'm not a huge fan of brown and black. I like bronze and black, but that's definitely kind of a um, fecal brown. Uh, maybe the OD green and black would be more something that would be interesting to me. So there you go. $55. I think that'd be good. Oh boy. The James brand. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just unboxed this. Okay. So listen, this is a nice knife. It's made really well. If you're, if you're only, if you're looking at that price tag going, whatever, I just want to know if it's made well. Yeah. It's made super well. It's a, this is a Riot knife, but guys, 600 the standard version $600. This version $650. I like this. It's a good looking knife. Look how they do the, on the, the standard titanium version, it doesn't have this inlay back here, but whether you like the regular one or you want with the, the inlay work is, looks amazing on this. And I've got the regular titanium one here and it's great. Riot built. If I didn't say that, it's a Riot built integral knife. It's going to be more expensive because it's Riot. It's going to be more expensive because it's an integral, even though we're just looking at materials like titanium and M390, which I'm sure that people will automatically reduce it to. That being said, this should be a, this should be a $450 knife. That's my opinion. I don't make knives. I don't work for this company. I don't work for Riot, but good gracious, 600 to $650. It's nice. I'll link it. It's down there for you. There's the less expensive one. <laughs> $600. This is the best looking version in my opinion because we, I, guys, I, I don't, the neon thumb stud. Why? Why did they do that? It's so weird. <laughs> somebody, somebody in my unboxing said it looked like a Nike shoe. <laughs> <laughs> the this one is the best looking version. That's the if you want the ultra classy minimalist looking, right? That's nice looking. How they do this back here, this is nice. Textured titanium, beautiful. It's just freaking expensive. Oh my gosh, they did an SD classic uh sprinkle knife. <laughs> oh boy. Well, there you go. If you go if you're a collector of the the donut sprinkle series of knives that Blade HQ seems to do periodically, then there's one there. Uh, a whole bunch of stuff that I just don't care about. Sorry. I'm just, it takes a very special, uh, special, <laughs> open L and special got in my head, even though I know that these are not open L's. It takes a special looking traditional knife to get me interested. Some folding spoon apparatus. What's the plural form of apparatus? Apparati? <laughs> not my thing. Cases are not my thing. There's a great looking version of the uh, Manandi. That's uh, for a lot of people. That's an ultimate version. You want to talk about a knife that you that is you know, if you're gonna pay 650 bucks for a knife, a lot of people are gonna go. That's too small to be a 650 dollar knives uh, knife, right? Because small knife can't be expensive. Small knife less expensive. Big knife, big money. No. Uh, this is a knife that is made in the United States, has a lot of precision work that goes into it. There are defi there's definitely some, you know, really uh, 
intensive work and attention to detail that goes into the, the Manandi and other knives made by Chris Reeve. Uh, and we're also looking at very premium. It's usually, it's usually your mega ultra high-end Damascus. So yeah, I mean, the ultimate gentleman's folder and the, in my opinion, the ultimate version of it is this guy right here. A lot of money, but if that's what you're looking for, there's one there at least. Um, wow, Artisan Cutlery, the Hornet. I think that's an appropriate name for that. It certainly does look like a Hornet, although it's a little bit too... Um, I, I, it's like tactical irony <laughs> is kind of the vibe that it's giving. I like Artisan Cutlery, by the way. It's just funny. Like some of the designs, I'm like, wow, that's kind of wild. Uh, let's see here. CRKT Ken Onion Stylus Spring Assisted. Eh, you're kind of losing me at Spring Assisted there. Um, CRKT Shenanigan Spring Assisted again. Uh, 50 bucks for uh, 1.4116 steel. Nope, not even at 50 bucks. Sorry. Um, you know, I don't even think I'd give that an, another look at $15. Cold Steel Large, uh, I'm sorry, Cold Steel Voyager Large Drop Point Lockback. That's a good looking knife if you want to, you know, if you need a mega robust large knife, you don't want to uh, break the bank. So, yeah, sure. Some interesting Olights here. Olight X Warrior Pro, I'm sorry, X Pro. Olight Warrior X Pro. Read the words in the right order. My goodness. Olight M2R Pro Limited. That's kind of neat how they do that. What else do we have here? There's a whole bunch of, I haven't been to this page in just a little bit, right? Oh, hey, there's the new, um, has that been around? Has that, have they already dropped that? The uh, 20 CV Wee Banter? Have I already reviewed that? I did review it. That's not new. All right, well, it's there. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, moving, did I review it? I honestly can't remember. I legitimately can't remember. CJRB Feldspar uh, with a black blade and OD with red. I don't know how I feel about OD with red, but it's cool they're doing different versions. It looks like they've got orange, right? Pilar with some micarta. That's neat. Oh, my goodness. There are uh, titanium scales for the Eclipse just sitting there waiting for somebody to buy them. I'm, I'm almost certain by the time you guys see this video that those will be gone. But if they're not uh, and you have an Eclipse, I would jump on those. Red Horse uh, Hellraiser. I'm still looking to review one of those. Um, that would be cool. There's the new Claymore from Benchmade. Also something that I think people will be interested in. Uh, let's go a couple more pages here. This is still stuff that I didn't know. Holy cow, there's actually a G&G Hawk custom deadlock on the website. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at that. That doesn't pop up very often. I mean, this is this is a custom OTF. I mean, this is like the famous OTF. Uh, it's one of the only OTFs in existence, right? Get ready. The Benchmade Infidel owners are going to be like, no, uh my Infidel is rock solid. No, it isn't. The G&G Hawk custom deadlock is undoubtedly more, more money than 99.9% .9 of people will ever want to pay for a knife. But... It is factually one of the only OTFs in existence that has zero blade play. Uh, my my six, seven hundred, eight hundred dollar OTFs, right? I guess I've got the Combat Trode on Hellhound, six hundred dollar OTF. Uh, but all OTFs up to about eight hundred dollars, which is the most expensive OTF I've ever handled, they all have just a little teeny tiny bit of blade play, right? This guy doesn't. Um, which is pretty cool. And it's, in my opinion, pretty good looking. I love the face switch, CPM 20 CV, carbon fiber, and titanium is what these are made out of. And they are custom knives. So there you go for that one guy out there who's looking for that. <laughs> I mean, they make the appropriate amount of them to please the people who are actually looking to buy them. It's not like they made like thousands of these and they're like, please buy our product. No, it takes a long time to make those, right? Um, which is part of the reason why they're so expensive. Um, I actually have one of these coming in, <laughs> the new, um, mega robust Jake Hoback Choppa CPM 3V. That is a beefy boy. Um, yeah, holy moly, nearly a quarter inch on the spine. That is a big, beefy, robust knife. Absolutely. So there you go. If you like uh, crazy fixed blades, they definitely make those. Uh, let's see. 
Mm, what's another one? And what's another thing that I want to look at before I end this video? The Guardian Tactical Recon Elites are back. I have never handled one. I've handled the um, 40. I've handled the little tiny one. And I've handled the Recon 35. I love them all. This one is substantially more expensive. I'd really like to understand why it's so much more expensive. 9.75 inches overall. So this is a big... This is a huge one. But why is it so much more expensive than the 40? Is this the new 40? I don't, I just don't get it. If you have a Recon Elite and you wouldn't mind letting me check it out, um, then I, I tell people, I'm like, yeah, if you wouldn't mind, you know, letting me take a look, that'd be great. And then I don't tell people how to contact me. You can message me on Instagram or you can email me at metalcomplex87 at gmail.com. Um, this is an unfortunate shape for a knife. <laughs> God, come on, what's that? <laughs> Moving on. Um, yeah, I think we're back into the territory of knives that I have already seen. I'll click one more page over just in case. Uh, I don't think there's anything else here that I really need to take a look at. I think I've seen everything else. So yeah, we'll go back to the um, uh, 8020.5 search so you guys can I'll just finish the video here. Make sure you check these out. The first run of these will probably go pretty quick. I would venture to guess they will be landing at lots of different retailers, right? But here's an official listing for them. So you can go in and take a look at specs and stuff like that. In fact, I'll open it up. Uh, this is the one of the ones that I, I've got them both uh, here. They were sent by the Demcos for review. You can go back and check out my reviews on them. Um, but there you go, specs and everything. I think that's going to be pretty much it for today, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope if you were looking for something, maybe I highlighted something that you were looking for. I will link a lot of the most interesting stuff right down below so you can go to the individual links and check that stuff out. Um, but yeah, this is always fun to do. You guys seem to enjoy it. So I will periodically continue to do this. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, uh, please leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you uh, enjoy all of my content, then go ahead and subscribe because there's definitely more coming.